Okay, Roger, congratulations. You must be really happy. Yeah, it was a good match. Uh, tough, you know, with the conditions, a bit breezy out there. And uh, Fernando, I thought, was serving and, you know, playing well from the baseline. So I think it was very even the first two sets. And then in the third set, you know, I kind of played well with the wind and got the crucial break early. And after that, uh, I think I closed it out nicely. So I'm, I'm very happy. What happened in that second set? I think we were very even and I had a one bad game at 5-6 down. Started off with a double fall, then maybe got a bit unlucky with a net court. Then I was down love 30 and I was serving against the wind and that just didn't help it. And you know, he did well. He was, I think, maybe almost a better player in the second set. And for that reason I thought it was, uh, it was okay to go three sets. Pleasing, like you say, the way he closed out the match. Yeah, I mean, I think I was staying calm and, uh, and positive, you know, that I was going to close it out. Um, I think I served well uh, when I had to and uh, mixed, tried to mix it up as much as I could. I still think I, you know, I can play better, obviously, but um, to come through against Fernando, who's a dangerous player, is always a good effort. Overall, how are you feeling this week? Well, now I can judge my game just a bit more, you know, because I got some rhythm against Fernando. Um, the first two matches were a lot just serve and return. Um, we got a bit, of, a bit more today. So I hope I can build on that and play a good match tomorrow against Verdasco. Um, it's going to be completely different just because he's a lefty, but no doubt that there'll, there'll be much more running and you know many more shots hit from the baseline. So I think I'll get an even a better idea tomorrow. Yeah, obviously Fernando, since the Australian Open, everyone's looking at him as a real danger, isn't he? Mm, yeah, I mean he's always been a dangerous player in the draw. You know, I just think now he's put it all together. You know, mentally for him, you know, he believes he can beat the best guys on a regular basis, and I think that's what makes him especially dangerous right now.